A recycling plant in Singapore is turning discarded lithium batteries into useful metals with the help of fruit peels. And two scientists who developed that technology are working with local firm Secure Waste Management to scale this. The pilot comes as the global volume of spent batteries is set to hit 11 million tonnes by the year 2030. Now, for more, we speak to Associate Professor Dalton Tay from NTU and Sandra Yap from Secure. Good evening to both of you. Professor Tay, uh, first to you. Help us understand the technology and how it works with fruit peel waste. Good evening. Um, the process we are advocating to recover the precious metals from spent lithium-ion battery waste is otherwise known as hydromethodology. So in this process, we extract metals from the crushed cathode materials of the spent lithium-ion battery, otherwise known as black mass, using a water-based solvent. It involves dissolving the metal-containing material in the solvent, then separating and purifying the metal ions from the solution. However, the solvents used in traditional hydrometallurgy are strongly corrosive and may generate secondary toxic gas emission, thereby polluting the environment. In our case, uh, using our proprietary processes, we are turning fruit peel discards from a variety of fruit sources, such as orange peel, papaya, mango, and even mixed fruit peels, as a way to resource raw materials to organically generate acids and green chemicals that will aid in the extraction of the metal ions from the battery waste. Thereafter, we can recover the metal ions as metal salts using optimized precipitation chemistry. The recovered metal salts can then be reused to generate new batteries, and in doing so, we are able to close the waste loop while offering a sustainable crater to crater solution. All right, let's bring Ms. Yap into this conversation. Now, Ms. Yap, you are Head of People, Marketing and External Relations at Secure Waste Management. How did the partnership with your company come about? So before, before I talk about the partnership with NTU, let me just quickly introduce Secure Waste Management as an organization. We are a Singapore-based organization focused on lithium-ion battery recycling and processing. So the partnership with NTU started as early as 2019 with a common goal to promote local innovation in the battery recycling space in Singapore. It is also our aim to provide customers a closed-loop solution beyond battery processing while we seek a greener path for the purpose of resource sustainability and hence the collaboration with NTU. Uh, Professor Tay, uh, back to you. You talked about the efficiency of this and uh, how the process closes this loop for recycling. Uh, why is this method of recycling lithium iron waste though going to be useful for the rest of the world as well? Um, firstly, the proposed innovation provides an immediate and scalable solution to reduce both food waste and uh, electronic waste, uh, two of the major waste streams in the world. And in doing so, we can minimize the environmental footprints of both waste types and thereby address the problems of landfill shortage, especially in Singapore. Our proposed, proposed approach also supports the recovering of resources and value from food waste and e-waste thereby supporting the Singapore government's mandate to transit towards a circular economy and zero-waste nation. And because our approach involves the transformation of waste products from the F&B industry as the raw material for the recycling process, we believe this, through this collaboration, will make it an interesting case study to advance the concept of eco-industrial symbiosis, where a network of industry comes together to exchange materials or byproducts with the aim of creating mutual economic environmental and social benefits. This will then create the environment to establish new business models, materials distribution networks and supply chain to build a diverse and resilient economy. Right, uh, Ms. Yap, uh, let's pick up on what uh, Professor Tay said, uh, an eco-industrial symbiosis. What does SECURE bring to this particular table? So the value Secure brings to the table is our core expertise in robotics-enabled battery discharging, dismantling and processing. So this allows NTU a stable feedstock for their pilot line as we jointly evaluate commercial feasibility at a meaningful scale. <clears throat> 
Oh, thanks so much, both of you, for joining us this evening. We'll be speaking with Associate Professor Dalton Tay from Nanyang Technological University and Sandra Yap from Secure Waste Management.